Python is the number one programming language to learn. It opens you up to some of the highest paying jobs in software engineering, automation, data science, and many more fields, with six-figure salaries all over the place, sometimes even for entry-level jobs. With Python, there are jobs that you can get even without a degree, as this skill is so valuable. But the fact is that most people don't know Python well enough to do any of these things. They've perhaps taken a course, learned the basic syntax, but that is it. If you're able to learn Python for a specific reason, and actually apply it to something, then you're in a very good position to get a high paying job. Today, I'll review the Applied Data Science with Python specialization from the University of Michigan, available on Coursera. It is one of the top ranked and most popular Python courses out there, specifically for data science and data analytics. I'll go through everything you need to know about this course, the cost and time to completion, the exact skills you'll learn, the demand for these skills on the job market, as well as any pros and cons to taking this certificate or if there are better options for you. I've reviewed many data science and Python courses in the past, so I'm kind of able to compare this course with a lot of other courses out there to make sure that this is really the best option for you. So this is an intermediate level specialization, but it's actually for beginners. It says no previous experience is necessary, and the only reason why it's called intermediate is because in the last few courses it does actually get pretty advanced but it's not a problem since you take the courses in a recommended order and we'll get to all of that stuff later anyway it is four months at 10 hours per week although as usual with many of these Coursera online programs it's quite hard to say how long it's gonna take you but most of the time a little bit shorter it is a very generous time estimate it also comes with a flexible learning schedule the cost of the specialization is around 50 bucks per month and lower depending on your region it is also included in the Coursera plus subscription which I believe gives gives you access to around 4,000 courses. So my strategy has been to, you know, take multiple courses at once and save money because you don't, don't have to pay for each individual course. They also offer financial aid for those who cannot afford it. Now, what about the skills you learn? Well, the general summary is that you'll gain new insights into your data. You will learn to apply data science methods and techniques and acquire analysis skills. But more specifically, you'll learn to conduct an inferential statistical analysis, enhance data analysis with applied machine learning, and also determine whether a visualization is good or bad, and analyze the connectivity of a social network. Some of these things are not going to make sense out of context, but we'll get back to the specific courses in a second. Now, you also receive a verifiable certificate at the end, but you do have to complete all of the courses to receive this. I don't think you'll get a certificate for each course, although you can double check. You can add the certificate to your LinkedIn or just print it out as a nice decoration on your wall. Personally, I think certificates can be a good motivator and keep you going, but they're no, not the most valuable things on the job market because unfortunately it is possible to cheat in some of the online courses and kind of pass it without actually learning anything. I absolutely don't advise anyone to do that because the real value are the skills you, that you learn, but it's still, you know, an issue and that's why employers perhaps don't see them as highly or value them as highly as some other options. Here are the instructors. There are four of them, but the main instructor is Christopher Brooks. He's a research assistant professor at the University of Michigan. Now let's take a look at some of the courses more in depth. The first one is an introduction to data science in Python, 34 hours long and has a 4.5 rating. You learn a few things including lambdas and manipulation of CSV files, common Python features for data science, query data frame structures for cleaning and processing, and also distributions, sampling, and t-tests, which are important statistical concepts for data science. In course two, which is 24 hours long and has a 4.5 rating as well, you'll dig into applied plotting, sharding, and data representation in Python, and it's just all about data visualization. Next up, we have the Applied Machine Learning in Python course, and this is a pretty long course of 31 hours and has a 4.6 rating. Then we have the Applied Text Mining in Python, and finally, Applied Social Network Analysis in Python. Something that's a little bit interesting is that the first course in the program has around 27,000 ratings, whereas the final course has less than 3,000 ratings. So a lot of people are dropping off and never finishing the specialization, and I'll talk about why once we get to the pros and cons. It's gonna be way easier if you have a degree, let's just be honest, but you can still access these jobs and see success even without a degree. The first job 
is a data analyst with an average salary of around 50 to 80,000 per year. And they interpret data, turn it into insights and inform business decisions. They often use Python and different libraries. So having learned some data science skills and Python together will be really helpful on the job market. It's also one of the jobs that you can get without a degree. And of course it is gonna be very competitive, but if you dedicate it, I believe that you can do it. Then we have the data scientist and they do more advanced stuff than data analysts, generally speaking. And they're therefore paid higher with an average salary of around 85 to 140,000 per year. Of course, depending on where you live and the company, it's a very broad range. We also have the machine learning engineer where you focus on well machine learning and Python is essential here as well. And their salary range is around 100 to 150 K per year. And that is expected because it's even more advanced than the other roles and has higher requirements in general. We also have the data engineer where you basically focus on the architecture and pipelines to store and process data. They can use Python as well for scripting and automation tasks and make around 90 to 130,000 per year. We also have the BI developer or other similar roles in business intelligence and they use data to help make better decisions. Their average salary range is around 70 to 110,000. And Python is also used in a ton of other jobs that we haven't even mentioned, from statistician to research scientists, to even software engineers, IT automation, and many more jobs, even outside of data science. So wherever you go, Python is probably gonna be very useful. All right, we've gone through the formalities and the course is more in depth. So let's talk a little bit more about the actual details and let's start to analyze the specialization and look at the pros and cons and whether it's the best option for you. First, it is a very popular course and that's good because the materials has really been vetted by hundreds of thousands of people going through the course before you. It is also pretty affordable and financial aid it does exist. It is very specific to data science, which I like because there are so many general Python courses and they can be pretty boring because you don't really apply it to anything that you find interesting. So it is more fun to both learn something and apply something when you can do it right away and when you have a solid reason for learning it. Can you take this one even if you don't work or even if you don't wanna work in data science? I think yes, and it can help you learn Python. Many of the tasks are going to be specific to data science. So if you're interested in another field, perhaps it's not the best option for you. I do like that it really introduces you to many different areas of data science from machine learning to data analysis and data visualization. So that's also a plus. But again, the main issue that I see with this course is that if you're taking it for the wrong reason, if you wanna become a data analyst, I think there are some better courses for you because you don't have to learn all of these things. And this is more if you want like the classic data science roles. I usually do have more complaints about courses when I review them, but for this one, that's pretty much it. I think you should try it out yourself because that is the best way to find out if it's really for you. And there could be something that you dislike about the learning format or whatever, but you don't know that until you try it out. In my opinion, it is a fantastic course overall that really does the job that it's supposed to, which is teach you Python for data science. I'll leave a link to the free trial in the description as well as any special promos going on. And thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.